Hey there, it is Dave with Living Lightly. Uh, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about heating up your hot water uh, using PV solar panels. All right, so this is only one option to heat your water uh, using a DC element. Uh, this one is 12 volts, so I don't know if you can read it on the side, but it's stamped 12 volt. Um, I'm in 24 and 36. These are uh, wired at 24 volts. So this 12 volt one won't won't hold up. It would get burnt out. So I had to reorder and get one that was 24 volts. And it seems to be working pretty well. I'm not gonna do jumping jacks over it, um, but it's doing a job. And we'll get more into it in a second. So you may wonder why I would choose to heat my water with PV panels instead of, say, running it up on the roof and heating it, you know, directly with solar. Uh, the reason that is an excellent way to do it, and I'm actually doing, have a batch water heater over on the other side of the house that does that. Works great in the summer, not so much in the winter. In the winter, I have freezing issues to deal with, um, you know, frozen pipes going on the outside. So if you are in a place that it gets below freezing for part of the year, that may not be the best option. It is definitely not one that can work all year round. Uh, south of here, you know, that's, that's the excellent way to go. Um, but let's check this out. I have a surplus of solar panels and not as many batteries. So I'm gonna use these and I'm going to store the energy that these generate, I'm going to store it in my water tank. And that water tank is going to feed my conventional water system. So instead of putting 45, 50 degree water into my wa hot water heater, I'm putting like 80, 90, 100 degree water in my water heater. Uh, so let's check out back here. It's a pretty simple setup. Um, two panels, so I don't know if you want to catch this label real quick. Let's see if we can get a close-up on that label. Get some geeky tech stuff. And those are running. Um, and then these are wired. I forget if you call them series or parallel, but either way, I'm I'm uh, keeping the volts, doubling the amps. And then that is going into the house. So we're gonna go down into the basement and check out what's happening down in the basement, where the power is going. So it'll head this way. It's actually cutting. All right, we are down in the basement. Here's the setup down here. I have two 1900 uh, gallon, 1900, 19 gallon tanks. <laughs> um, and, and this really kind of gets us, gets us by. We're, we're doing okay. We're doing okay on a 19 gallon tank. And so now I bought another tank that I converted to DC with that, just by putting that DC element in there that can run straight off the solar panels. So this is going to be the first tank that I converted to DC. My main supply of cold water is well, about 45 degrees in the winter anyway. And that runs right here down into my hot water tank. It comes out the top down and it feeds my second hot water tank. This is hooked up to conventional AC electricity. Uh, it is a, what, 2,000 watt element, and it runs off 120. So it's not a 240. I only have one element in here. And because it's small, it doesn't need 220, just 110 or 120. Now, if I were to feed this conventional tank with that 45 degree water, that conventional electricity would be on and have to crank the heat from 45 degrees to what, 120 or whatever I have it set at. But 
the cold water is going into this tank. This tank is being heated by those solar panels in a DC element. So it's bringing it up to, well, depends on how much sun I get during the day. I think right now it's about 80, 80 degrees. So I brought the water from, because it's cloudy outside, it brought the water up from 45 to 80. Now 80 degree water is going in my conventional tank. So to go from 80 degrees to say 120, I'm lowering my electric usage, my conventional electric usage. So hopefully that made sense. Why I'll have two tanks. One, it's called a preheating tank and it's DC. So it really was as simple as getting the element that matches your solar panels. The power from the solar panels comes in. I put a breaker switch of 30 amps. And I did 30 amps because everything is rated to about 35 amps on here. So I used a lot of the existing wiring um, on the thermostat so I can use the, tr the thermostat it came with. Uh, some people will get a DC thermostat because maybe they're pouring in so many amps, maybe they have twice as many solar panels and it's pouring in way more amps, heating it even better, but then the existing wiring can't handle that. But everything is rated, checked, checked everything out. The type of wiring and all the mechanics in here are rated, you know, I think for like 35 to 40 amps. I'm not getting up to that. My solar panels can't produce that. And just in case what, it got hit by lightning or something, I don't know, something went crazy, 30 amp breaker. So everything should be just perfectly safe. It does not matter which way you wire them, positive, negative, there is no input output on these. But I put the, the power wire into the thermostat and then the thermostat feeding in and then my negative wire coming back and back into the breaker, breaker box and connected back to the panels. So power going in, going through the element, coming back out, and there's a breaker in the switch. That's really, it's, it really is a simple, simple system. So today has been very cloudy. I mean, uh, there's a few times the sun came out for like 15, 20 minutes. And I used a little bit of hot water, but not much. So this is of course up to temp because it's on conventional electricity. This was filled with 45 degree water. Um, so yeah, the shower was used and stuff. So this was probably 45, 50 degrees early this morning. A little bit of sun hit it, hit the panels. And so we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna test it by doing this pressure switch, the overflow pressure valve. Um, I'm gonna hit this and water is gonna drain out and I'm gonna catch it with a cup and we'll take a temperature reading. So. All right, just got a cup of water here. And thermometer right now outside, it's 30 degrees. Uh, it's a 70 down here, yeah. Oh no, it's probably 60 down here. It was in my pocket. Yep, it's going down. Let's put it in the water, Let's see what we got. It like almost 76. So 45 degree water went in and, seven, and it's warmed up to 76 on a cloudy day. So for a cloudy day, I'm pretty happy. I'll come back and show you a test on a sunny day and I'm pretty confident that on a sunny day, it's gonna heat that up. Uh, I have it set at, ooh, I think like 130. And I have the conventional 
water tank set at 120. So the hope is that this will go up to again you know, 130 or wherever it's at, transfer over into here, and this will never have to turn on. That is the hope. But it's still plugged in, so if anything, I'm reducing uh, a lot of my electrical usage uh, just by running the PV panel, the energy from the PV panel through that DC element, through another tank, a preheating tank, and into the conventional. My first test, uh, right, you know, when I got one of these guys in the mail, hooked it to the panel, stuck it in some water, and this is what it looked like. Water. But because I have a surplus of solar panels and I don't have a place to store that energy right now, I don't have a big battery bank, uh, I'm going to use hot water as a place to store that energy and put it to use. Um, and, you know, sure, I could use the the panels that go on your roof and the water runs through them as the sun hits it and heats them up but one you can't use those in winter and it is a good system i am going to try that also this summer i'm just going to have it all but right now i want to put these panels to use so i found this heating element i hooked it directly to the panels and let's see what it does So, okay, yeah, what I have is, you know, the back of the panels. Let's take a look. Well, I don't think it's going to focus for you. A lot of specs, a lot of geek stuff on there. Cables are running directly to this heating element in a cup of water. And I don't know if you could see it, but it is starting to boil. and put my finger in it. Ow, that is hot. Okay, so it is boiling hot. So that's probably running close to 200 degrees. So overall, I think it's, uh, the situation is successful. I mean, anything that's going to inch me closer to, you know, energy independence, being self-sufficient, uh, not relying on dirty energy. Um, if it's moving me in that direction, it's successful. Uh, it is, it's not enough voltage to just, you know, instantly heat water, like say gas or conventional electricity would, but man, you know, we're moving the right direction. So I'm pretty happy. So thank you for watching, uh, subscribe, uh, and like, leave a comment, uh, visit my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash urban off grid. Um, you know, just get connected and keep living lightly. Thanks for watching.